Welcome to Great Neighborhood Cooks. I'm your host, Rob Kircher. Each week, I'm going to be knocking on the doors of amazing cooks who live down the street or around the corner. Who knows, maybe from your own neighborhood. For the most part, they're unsung cooks known mainly to their family and friends. Or they might be cooks from that great little hideaway restaurant that we love to discover. Either way, their relative obscurity is about to change as I bring them into the spotlight. So who will be the next discovered Great Neighborhood Cook? Well, stay tuned to find out. So, Ruth, who will be our next discovered great neighborhood cook? Well, we're here on Marco Island, which is the furthest we've come. We've never been here before. I know. And I understand we're going to be meeting a guy by the name of Doug Smith, right? Yes. And uh, he was, what, a waiter? He was a waiter, and his wife, Beth, was a bus girl at uh, the Bramble Inn many 30 years ago. And they fell in love. They did, and <laughs> yes. Obviously. <laughs> yeah, and uh, so we're here in Marco Island. Yeah. And, uh, and Doug pretty much is a fisherman, right? He loves to fish, yes. And, and he's a great fisherman. Oh, and I think we have a, a very special fish in, very in, unusual. in store for us, yes, right? Yes, yes. And it's called a what? It's called a permit. A permit. Yes. Not a hermit, but a permit. Let's go in and meet Doug. Absolutely. Okay. <laughs> Double wrap. We'll give him the bums rush here. I know. Here. And there they are. <laughs> Wow. Hi, you guys. Hello. Hello. Everyone answered the door. Oh, my God. Hello. Nice to see you. How are you? So good to see you. Thank you. Thank you for inviting us. Thank this you. is marvelous. You're welcome. So, Doug, this is a very special fish, right? It is. A uh, permit. We get them about 50-plus uh, miles offshore. Really? Uh, wow. On structure, typically. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Hey, who are these lovely, lovely people we have right here? Great friends and neighbors. Yep. Known them for... A year almost to the day. Rod and I uh, this year did um, stone crab pots, so we put some stone crab pots out. Just about over. It, isn't it? it right. ended yesterday. It is over. Yep. Season goes from from October fifteenth to May fifteenth. Yep. Now a stone crab pot is like a lobster pot, really. I mean, similar, right? Yep. A little smaller. But, and, but uh, once they get in, they can't get out. I mean, that's the whole idea, right? Exactly. Okay. Yes. So we did about. 13 weeks of pulls, so you leave the pot pots to soak for about a week, week and a half. It's a plastic pot, why would, why would you want it to soak for? It's sitting in the water with all the bait oh, in there. Oh, so oh, it soaks yeah. in there, oh, okay. and then uh, all the crab uh, climb in. And, uh, and what do you put in the little box so they... When all the it? fish we catch, we take the carcasses. Oh. And um, we load the pots up with the carcasses and, uh, yeah. and drop them down. And so all yeah. these goodies they love, they just kind of go through that little hole. Exactly. And put some cat food I'm just going to yeah. say, didn't I hear something we, we, we about a can of oh, cat food? Yeah, I heard that. Yeah. Cat food. Yep. Why is Audrey like hiding over there? She's like backing away. <laughs> <laughs> this is your husband. This is your husband, Audrey. <laughs> so yeah, so you can have uh, five per. So uh, Rod has five, Audrey has five, my wife Beth has five, and I have five. So we had 20 well, pots out this and year. And I'm only guessing, we haven't gotten this right, but I'm only guessing that your freezer is probably full of fish fillets, right? Actually it is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well let's get on with this because yeah, that's absolutely. Really how you do it. Absolutely. The knuckle meat we, we found is, is probably better than the better than the crab claw itself. When you get the knuckle meat out yeah. and a good piece like that, well, it's uh, That's a prize. You're well, happy. That, that's that's yeah. a prize. We'll all be fighting for that. <laughs> nice. Ooh, uh, wonderful. This is like a little mustard mayonnaise. Mm-hmm. Nice. Love that. Yeah. Love that. That looks great. A little Worcestershire in there. So that, that's, yeah. that's what you do. It's kind of like a lollipop. You stick it, it in and pull it out, and <laughs> they will regrow the claw. Do you have a preference as to which one you take or not? The bigger one. The bigger one. one. The bigger one. <laughs> <laughs> and they take, about, they take about a year to grow back. Do they really? Uh, yeah. Oh, oh. yeah. Really and so season ends. Incredible um, creatures, aren't they? The season yeah, ends May 15th, yeah. Yeah. and so they grow yeah. throughout until wow. uh, so, October wow. 15th. So are these considered medium, small, medium, large? Those are medium. Yeah. Those that's are probably medium. medium yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Well, I can see why they Now, has the red stone. tide affected the fishing at all? The um, a little bit, yeah, little it has. Bit, yeah. It has. I understand is, is that you had to go further out to get the bigger claws. Rod did a beautiful job filleting these. He really did. Yes, this, this is gorgeous. Mm -hmm. So Expert. I think what we should do is portion this out. Okay. And we're going to roast it in a 500 oven. Okay. Um, I think probably with just a little salt and pepper. Perfect. So it's absolutely gorgeous fish. It's so fresh. It was a great fight. Uh, was it really? Yeah. Uh, so this yeah. is a fighter fish? This is a fighter fish. Yeah. So uh, 
they hook up and uh, you catch them on live crabs. Yep. So you float the live crab and uh, the permits school. So there's a whole bunch of permit and they go after the, uh, the crab. Yep. And uh, then you just hang on because wow. they're taking line out and running. They're trying to run the structure yep. to, to untangle and uh, cut you off. So it's a, it's a great fight. So it's a ride. It's a ride. <laughs> the ride of your life. <laughs> Absolutely. And we're going to do a little asparagus with this first. So yep. Doug, I'm going to have you drizzle a little olive oil in there and sprinkle it with some salt, salt and, and pepper. pepper. Yep. Just toss it and we'll put it over on that sheet. Sounds great. I can't wait to try this. Oh, it's so good. It's a great fight and a great eating fish. Well, I've been the recipient of a lot of your <laughs> nice fish. And we always enjoy it. Yeah. Oh, that looks great. Yeah. Just give that a quick toss. I'm going to do the same here. It's going to be so good. And the nice part about this is that it's so quick and easy. I mean, this this will cook up in about oh, Absolutely. 10 minutes. Fresh. Yep. Yep. Delicious. Okay, that can go over on that board. And this will go on here. And it's going to be perfect. Well, you remember at the Bramble Inn, we always had that smoked bluefish and that Everybody just loved that. We oh, make it's a fantastic smoked dish. bluefish pate, and it was so good. Very, very good. So I'm just going to, uh, I sprayed this parchment, and I'm just going to tuck it down around here. You mm -hmm. don't need to seal it or wrap it. But if you just tuck it down, it kind of keeps all the moisture in. We're barefoot cooks, as you can see. It's the only way to roll down <laughs> That's here. That's right. All right, That's very hot. Like. Okay, very hot so let's see. Get these both in. So Audrey, you're making a salad for us, right? And it yeah. looks like a beautiful salad too. Look at all these great ingredients. Yeah, so yes. I see the blue cheese. Uh, what do you call this salad? Well, it's a pomegranate um, and apple salad with butter lettuce. Nice. With butter lettuce. Glazed yep. walnuts and now, some I saw, I saw Rod make, uh, kind of doing some apples earlier. Did we forget mm -hmm. that ingredient? And so well, that's I wanted them fresh. <laughs> <laughs> so he's kind enough to do that. <laughs> that's great. Well, let's see you make this. This, is, right. this looks fantastic. So, First of all, it's butter lettuce and you tear it into um, really um, broad leaves so you don't want to ruin the, the butter lettuce. No, it bruises easily. It bruises so. easily, yep. so you want to be very nice careful. Little it's sort of like me, I bruise very easily. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Okay, yeah. And so what we do with the salad is, um, first of all, we're going to put in some apple slices, thinly sliced. And then on top of that, we have some pomegranate seeds. And I like very to colorful, save some. Very colorful, isn't it? Yeah, I love it. a really colorful one. Yeah. I save some for on top of the salad when we're really all done. Yeah. And the same with um, some um, candied uh, walnuts. Walnuts, I love and walnuts. So we, I did those at home, Rod helped me, of course. Great. Right. And so. Um, so we got the crunch, we got the apple, we got yeah. the, uh -huh. the and wonderful. And we have the tarragon. And oh. The tarragon yeah. has kind of a licorice taste. Yes, right. But it, it adds just a little so bit the of anise, pizzazz, yeah, yeah, yeah. To, wonderful. Uh, to what we're doing. And then it's a matter of tossing. And, um, and adding um, the dressing, which um, is a homemade what dressing. What about this? I'll do that last. Okay. <laughs> We're going to do that last. Okay. All right. Very last. Um, but um, what you'll what find... What kind of dressing is this? A homemade, right? It's homemade, and it has some, um, obviously, oil in it, as well as some, a little bit of onion and... Um, garlic, I hope? No, no garlic. No garlic, no wow. No garlic, okay. which wow. is really unusual, and I love yeah. garlic. Um, but I like I like dressings and salads that are pretty lightly dressed, so yeah. I always right. start with just a Garlic little. This is the hardest part so is to much. get down to the bottom of that I thing know, and bring yeah. everything up. It is. Yeah. I think while you're finishing this up, I'm going to go check and see how our. Yeah, how much we, we got? Another 10, yeah, 15? Yeah, I think we've got about another five minutes. Okay. But I'm going to go check. Can I, can I mix a little bit? Yeah. Do you mind? You certainly can. I like getting I like getting it about. Okay. You can even okay. use your hands. If you want. Oh, really? Actually, it's probably a better way of doing it. More pomegranate, right? Yes. We'll finish with pomegranate. Well, put the rest of that in. Wow. But we will, what happens is everything goes to the bottom as you're mixing. I like to save it for the top. Yeah. And that way, everybody gets a little bit of. Salt. I agree. 
waste not, want not. Put that in there. Exactly. Give it another toss. Yep. Okay. Or you can just leave some of it on. Or just, oh, you want to make it look pretty. Okay. Yes. All right, Rob, pretty. stop Stop with the mixing, okay? <laughs> All right. And then what we'll do is, is just do individual salads. That looks beautiful. Oh, doesn't that look gorgeous? Yes. And yeah. guess what? Rod actually sliced the apple. He sliced the apple. Saw yeah. That. And he finally did something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Other than help catch oh, yeah. the fish. Yeah, the fish, the, the crab, crab right. everything else. Yeah. So how's it, the oven's good? The oven is good. The asparagus is ready. Uh, the fish is going to be just another right. minute. So I'm let's go to a break then. Okay. And we'll be back, ladies and gentlemen, in about a few minutes. And we're going to taste Ruth's amazing. It's a, it's a permit Champagne fish. Champagne and lobster sauce on the permit. On the permit. Yes. Okay. okay. We'll be back. Okay. Hey, look. Come on. <laughs> oh, the kids on the rocks again. Hey, you kids can't play here. Mm. Not fun. <laughs> Fun. Galisano Children's Museum of Naples. Fun. Moran Edwards Asset Management Group of Wells Fargo Advisors has 25 professionals dedicated to attentive, personalized service. Our team's credentials cover a wide range of advisory disciplines, and we've been helping families and institutions invest to achieve their financial goals for over 30 years. Call 239-254-2200 or visit moranedwards.com for a complimentary consultation. Moran Edwards, passionate, personable, performance-driven. Thinking of updating your kitchen? Don't just replace, create. Let the experienced craftsmen at Kitchens by Ambiance create a space that will truly impress. Create a kitchen with Ambiance. Kitchens by Ambiance. Visit our showroom in Bonita Springs across from the promenade on Tamiami Trail or find us online at kitchensbyambiance.com. At the Roma's Gourmet Market and Restaurant, they do things differently. They do it the authentic way. For example, why is their incredible bread and pastries the best you've ever tasted? Well, it's because they're made artfully and lovingly every day, using only the freshest ingredients possible. The same care and thoughtfulness goes into their freshly brewed, custom blended coffee. The Roma's Gourmet Market and Restaurant at the Promenade in Bonita Springs is the closest place to Little Italy in Southwest Florida. Well, folks, we're back from the break, and uh, Ruth is just doing an amazing job with the soap here. And uh, we're going to be, uh, we're going to have a line here. So we're going to be, uh, we have our servers, okay? So step up here. And uh, I've been given a job, so I'm going to be putting the potatoes on a plate. And uh, this is the, oh, look at that. Marvelous. Put sauce. Your potatoes go oh, get my potatoes. <laughs> uh, I love it. Okay. Yeah. Everything came out so Boy, it looks fantastic. Right. Okay. Good. Wow. It reminds me of the Bramble Inn. Yes, it does. So we've got some nice little assembly line here. Champagne sauce to go on okay. The Can I pass this out? You may. We've got some sauce on this. Okay. We are good to go. Thank there you. There you go. It looks fantastic. And Audrey. Thank you. Okay. I'm falling behind in my potatoes here. Okay. You're fired. <laughs> <laughs> now this is going to take you back to the old days of the Bramble Inn. It does. I mean, That's it's, my cute. goodness. Uh, now, do you always have that uh, that uh, that face on when you cook, like where you don't oh, get yes. a lot of smiling? You know? Not a lot of smiling. Not a lot of smiling, right? No time to smile. <laughs> I've been trying to break you of that, but. I know. Look at oh, this. I'm working. All right, come on, let's go. All right, let's go. Oh, look, we have the salad over here, too. Wow. Oh, yes. Okay. Our beautiful salad. Wow. Ruth, I got to tell you something. This has just been a blast, hasn't it? I mean, uh, unbelievable people, um, and the food is incredible. And I got to tell you something. All of you are just amazing. What I can't, I'm still trying to get it through my head that they, they don't work. They just, they just fish. 
<laughs> I mean, how do we get that cake? How do we get exactly, that cake? I want that I know. cake. In any event, all kidding aside, folks, sure. let's uh, so have a toast here. Cheers. 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 Oh, yeah, thank, thank you. you Your hospitality. To family, friends, oh fishing. Oh, my God, I love it. And, and to you, fishing, buddy. <laughs> Salud. And it all started at the Bramble Inn. Right, it all started at the Bramble Inn. Cheers. You know, for those of uh, folks who don't know the Bramble Inn, this is where uh, Ruth actually and, and her husband, uh, Cliff, had uh, a business for about 32 years, years, something like that, in uh, Cape Cod Bay. And um, it just an outstanding restaurant. I think it was number one in the world or something like that. Oh, right? not quite. Something like that, right. Uh, let's go. Okay. Let's try it. Let's do it. Let's get in okay. there. I'd like to do this. Ready on one, two, three. We're going to taste it, right? One, two, three. Go for it. Ruth, this is absolutely amazing. Oh my gosh, thank you. Great oh my job. God. Great mm. job. It's delicious. Wow. All right, so uh, go to our website and also would like you to uh, like us on Facebook and on Instagram. And you can also uh, see behind the scenes and you can download the recipe. So we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. I'm here with David Fu, and uh, David, you actually weren't here during the Hurricane Irma. Uh, you were elsewhere, uh, but you were kind of scared when you heard about what was happening in your in your backyard, essentially. What tell us about that experience? What happened? Once we got back here, you know, it was uh, to see the the devastation, and uh, only days later, you know, do a rope die that I realized the extent of the damage, you know, to the roof. Uh, so we got in touch with the insurance company and uh, the adjuster um, I'm sure was just overwhelmed with work rather cursory inspection <laughs> and uh, but uh, they decided that I needed a brand new roof so soon after that uh, I was deluged with um, roofers who come by and knocking on the door yeah they were very aggressive uh, in their approach you know you signed up with them that day and yeah sign contracts right and uh, they would deal with the insurance company and so on and I did not feel comfortable with any of them well how did you get to know ACC Mastercraft got in touch with uh, them and they came out and they were very very professional uh, very thorough uh, in their evaluation very detail oriented and uh, just in terms of uh, confidence, you know, with people, I, I felt good about them. Um, I have uh, built and renovated multiple homes, and I've dealt with builders a lot. And uh, you know, it's uh, it's a process that is never predictable. And um, I just I can sort of sense uh, the competence of these guys. Uh, but they're from the East Coast, and they really have not done much work here. So I asked for uh, a list of references, and they gave me five, and I called all of them. And they are growing review, and um, so I talked to them a little bit more about my various concerns and so on, and felt comfortable with them, and uh, and I signed up with them. And you know, I'm very glad that I did that. The communication was fabulous. Most importantly, they dealt with the insurance company completely, and uh, I'm. You know, just sort of there. I didn't really have to do anything, and so it was kind of turnkey. And uh, their documentation with the insurance company was thorough enough and accurate enough that uh, you know the insurance company uh, readjusted the, the the claim, and um, so I couldn't be happier. Uh, the roof is not done yet, but from what I've seen, it's quality work, and I have every confidence that it's going to be done right when it's completed. So you feel confident in recommending ACC Mastercraft to other folks? Yes, I do. Alrighty, come on into my kitchen. This is great. <laughs> Light and bright. It's very love pretty. Very kitchen. girly. Yeah. I love it. Oh, it's yeah. beautiful. And uh, I great think we're going to love what you're going to be cooking just as well. And what are you going to be cooking? I about? am cooking pad thai. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Yeah. Now, is this vegetarian pad thai? No, it's got chicken and shrimp. Oh, good. But it's one of my specialties. I used to make it in college for my girlfriends. So not right. only are you a, apparently a very good cook, right? But you also are an attorney, correct? I, yes, I am. And what kind of area of law do you practice? I practice hurricane insurance claims, actually. Hurricane so, insurance claims? I know. Wow. I just focus on that. It's my sole focus. Yeah, and folks, we're in Southwest Florida, so we've all experienced that Irma. Right? Yeah. That's right. And in fact, you had some damage from Irma. I right? did. So I actually, I was working as a staff attorney at a corporation before this, and, and Irma happened. And I, just like everyone else in, in Naples, I'm from here, I had damage to my home and my friends and family did as well. 
and I just I saw the struggles they were going through with their insurance claim and I decided to kind of dive in and, and really do this in the community. So that's great. Right. Yeah. Do you work for yeah. a company, yeah. a local yes, company? Yes, so I work for a firm called Danzinger and Delano uh -huh. and our office is Oh, I've heard of them. Yeah. yeah. Sure, yeah. they're well known. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. um, so it's interesting because uh, you were in the television business to a certain degree and then you certain migrated degree. over to uh, the law. I mean, what? Do yeah. we, why did you do that? How well, that, I went to law school, law school, you know, years ago and um, it was just you loved it. Yeah, I, it's, I've always wanted to be a lawyer. Always. I, I'm serious. By the age of like 12, a good family friend was a prosecutor in, um, in Naples, actually. And I, I always wanted to go to law school. I did mock trial in high school at Naples High, and I loved it. And so that so was So you're a homegrown girl. I am. And I you am. followed your dream. Yeah. I did. That's yeah. So Lauren, uh, one of the wonderful things about this uh, dish that you're going to be preparing is that the ingredients are easy, right? Yes. It's simple to do. Yes. And it's going to taste wonderful. And it's right? for someone who doesn't have the time. I cheated. There's like things that are already chopped when I bought it at the store. Well, speaking of cheating, yeah. uh, what do you got behind you? What's that box? Oh, oh, so well, we're making pad thai. Right. So I thought, let's just have some pad thai. Just gotta, it's, it'll literally take two minutes and then we can talk the whole time. I love it, I love it. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> That's a good thing. A frozen pad thai, it ac actually is really good, this brand. Do you use an electric wok? Yes, I like the electric wok. Yep. Yeah, I don't know why. I think it, it just heats more evenly. So first step to get a little bit of coconut oil. Uh -huh. I like to use coconut oil. It's a little bit healthier. Now when you say a little bit, how much you put in there? What you got? I'm going to put a like a tablespoon. Yeah, tablespoon. Something like that? Yeah. All right. <laughs> tablespoon of, hmm, maybe a little, a little tablespoon more. and a half. I don't really like to measure. <laughs> Well, you know, actually, most good cooks. No, is, I, uh, I, yeah, I just. Of course, Ruth is a chef, but uh, not uh -huh. many measure, do they? They no. just kind of do their own thing, right? Even yeah. the home cooks, yeah. I've noticed. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Everybody yeah. just kind of yeah. adds to taste, which is a good way to cook. I already have the the pad thai noodles soaking. Okay. Oh. And they're probably done. So, yeah, I put them in cold water for about a half hour, and they're good. I <laughs> I went. I was nominated for a television show. Um, back a year and a half ago or so yeah. and it was for The Bachelor. My best friend nominated me and I went on it and it was quite the experience. Um, not something I would do again. <laughs> Got sent home real early because I was just totally out of, out of my element. I was like a fish out of water. Um, but it was, you know, it was it was uh, quite quite funny. You scrambled some yeah. eggs which we'll add at the end. Is right, you just kind of leave it on okay. the side. Um, yeah, so now I'm going to make the sauce, the actual pad thai sauce. Perfect. And to do that, I take, so these are some of the ingredients I got from uh, just your standard um, Asian from market Asian place. Yeah. yeah. So some, you need pad thai paste, you need um, a pad thai sauce, you need fish sauce, and then you need some concentrated cameron. Uh. Okay? So to start, I get the paste first. Four tablespoons. So that's one. That's a little thicker than I thought it would yeah, be. Really? It's a little it syrupy. Like syrupy. Almost, yeah. yeah. Yeah, like molasses. Three. Three. Yeah. So with this one, I do like a teaspoon. So I'll actually measure this. And I do about three tablespoons of the fish sauce. Oh, okay, good. I can hear your little kitty. In the I know. Oh, so yeah. cute. He gets excited kitties. over the fish sauce, so I need to keep him in the back room. <laughs> Teaspoon, teaspoon or so yeah. Yeah. Okay. but we'll just i don't want it to be too sour it's usually pad thai is like a little on the sweeter side yeah sweet sour so and then the ketchup is just for coloring mm -hmm. sugar i do about two tablespoons so for our people at home you could always use honey as well oh honey, yeah. yeah substitute yeah, which is nice if yeah you don't want to use sugar Yep. Great. And scoop it just yeah. like that. So once that is looking a little brown, then I put in the garlic. And then I put the chicken in. Mm -hmm. um, I already cut just one breast for the amount for three people. Yeah. Just yep. one. Huh? Yep. And then I just drop these in. I love wok cooking because it just happens so quickly. It does. And then I have shrimp that is deveined and um, clean. When I'm not cooking amazing <laughs> pad thai, I, um, I've been helping people in town after Hurricane Irma. 
And since then, we've just had a lot of people, um, you know, being lowballed, mm -hmm. getting this lowball check, saying your damages are below deductible, or just straight up denial. Yep. And and that's where I've kind of, I decided that I wanted to make a career change and go into, you know, helping the community with getting the money that they need to pick fix their homes. I mean, there's so many homes with. Well, I think you're going to be at this for right. a, a large number of years. It's, because, it's going to uh, be a while. We're going to yeah, be fighting be the insurance companies yeah. for people's. I just hope that, you know, people can get it all taken care of by the yeah. next hurricane season. Then you put in the sauce that you have pre-made. Mm -hmm. You kind of let it just come to a boil. And when it comes to a boil, then you put your shrimp in. So so it's boiling. It's and that's boiling, when I right? kind of put, I put my shrimp in. Yep, when it's boiling. And the shrimp just cooks so easily and so fast that just, and you know what, the, the aroma butter. already is just amazing. Yeah, in just a few seconds, and then I'm going to put in the carrots. This is something, I like to do carrots because this gives mm -hmm. a little crunch. Yeah, I yeah. like that too. Yeah. And they're good for you. Color. Nice color. Nice color. color. Yeah. yeah. And then I've got some bean sprouts too. Yep. No. But these just get soft so quickly that I kind of mm -hmm. just want to put the... the um, well, you got my favorites. I love bean sprouts. Do you? Oh, yeah. Then you put in... Last is the bean sprouts. Exactly. Okay. So. Lauren, it's so romantic out here. You got the fire pit going, got these incredible lights. Yeah. And guess what? Look over on my shoulder. What do you see up there? Moon. We have a full moon. Isn't that amazing? Beautiful. Right out of central casting. Well, in the meantime. Thank you. Just have a little bit of sake, see that reach. Sake. And do this left handed, okay? And I'll tell you what, let's have a little toast to uh, Lauren and her amazing meal. And I'm sure it's going to taste incredible. Dang, right. all right. You ready? One, two, three. I can't wait to dive in here. Wow. Very good. I love it. You would tell me if you didn't like it, would you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not lying. No, I'm not lying. It's very, very good. It's, it's yummy. I love it. You know what, folks? Uh, we saw Lauren put this together. Mm -hmm. And it's easy, right? Uh, it's quick. Simple ingredients, it's right? It's fun. Yeah. It's fun. Yeah. And I topped it off with a little bit of cilantro. Which I love, And a little love, bit of roasted peanuts. I just crushed up some peanuts and put them in the oven for a little bit. And sprinkled that on top and you're done. Folks, I'd like you to go to our website, which is www.greatneighborhoodcooks.com to learn more about Lauren and, of course, Ruth Manchester. Mm -hmm. um, and the fact that this is what? What kind of? This is gluten-free, actually. So this would be a good meal for people who have a problem with gluten because the noodles are rice noodles. Um, and it could also be vegetarian if mm -hmm. you, without the fish sauce, um, if you just substituted the chicken and the shrimp for chunks of vegetables. Wow, well, no, there's a good idea. Mm -hmm. Well, it tastes delicious, that's for sure. It is. And, um, also, they can go to your website, right? Yep, at www.hurricanemoney.com. Okay. Yep. Well, good tip. So, again, folks, um, go to our website and go to Lauren's website, and you're going to learn all this wonderful information. And don't forget to like us on Facebook and Instagram. So, we'll see you next time. Bye bye. Bye. I have to get out of here. Yeah. You mean move? Just say move. <laughs> you can go straight in there. Get the hell.